Trump called it a war to the death, with half a dozen civic organizations and community boards. The project would see 30 years of legal battles and become a graveyard for famous architects. There were many plans that never panned out. The first design by architect Helmut Jung called for the world's tallest building as the centerpiece, which prompted the New York Times critic Paul Goldberger to ask if the architect had ever even been to the site. Another tongue-in-cheek plan had the buildings on the water and the actual site a public park. Things got worse from there. The most absurd were towers with giant wheels on railroad tracks, where the buildings were movable and the plan laughable. Donald Trump is certainly an extraordinary person, a great personality uh, and a presence in New York City. Um, however, I don't know of one building uh, that Donald Trump has been behind that I would call a good work of architecture. The proportions are rather awful, you know. The, it's boring to look at. And, and you know, the, what is amazing is that every time I go by this huge uh, Trump rail yard development, I can't believe, you know, how they got away with that. The way in which that area is developed reminds me of the kinds of developments made in Queens. They were uh, fairly inexpensive, at least. So it was housing uh, that was needed and affordable. This is sort of like affordable housing uh, for people who could pay high rents. I don't know why anyone in their right mind would want to live there. The irony, of course, is the building would achieve impressive sales and be very popular with the public. Basically, I'm happy to live here. The view is amazing. I feel it's very safe. You can't hear any noise from floor to floor. They don't think about the quality of space, the quality of light, the way it comes in the relationship of the, of the space to the environment. Weimar Republic uh, intellectual Walter Benjamin, you know, once said, you know, that architecture is appreciated by ordinary people mostly in a state of distraction, you know? And, and I think that there's a lot of truth in that. And so I suppose most people, when they go looking for an apartment, they don't really, uh, they're not really interested in what the building looks like. I mean, just, you know, just, they want to have an apartment.